Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Oke okay guys, come back with me Irzi on the Muhammad Azigat al Riyadi channel Well, in this video I will give a tutorial on how to design a notification display like a success notification Oke okay. First we Okay, first we make a frame, namely the iPhone uh, 11 Pro X. Uh, like this, and give it a line first so that the design does not go out of the frame, and we can know the limit. Okay, well, after that, don't forget to copy the previous design or the home design, the initial design. We keep it in the middle, then um, we add a rectangle. We add a rectangle, adjust the frame to cover the wall frame. We adjust and fit the frame. We pull it down. Well, after that, we give black color. Then we reduce the opacity to 50%. Okay, after that. We make again adjusting the frame on our left. We adjust the shape to adjust the line so it's not too much or too little. Yes, okay, we'll just give the bottom one the top. Uh, well, if we already have the size, we just have to fit in the with the line we have made. Yes, put it down a bit. Well, after that, we change the color to white. Yes. And we give the radius, then we will make the symbol or illustration in the box. Okay, first, we create an icon or exit icon. Then, we select both to fit in the middle and give the end around and thickness it just an estimate maybe like this okay then we fit again to the middle yes uh, so if we have group both and we lower the opacity eh. There's no way we'll just change the color to gray with the code C4, 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 C4. After like this, we rotate about 90%. After that, we put it in the top right corner. Yes, and we continue to make the illustration of the tick. That is, with the circle we save in the middle. Then we copy the color with the design that is on it. It's left. Green color. Green color. With code like this. Yes. You can see. Okay. After that we copy. We copy. Uh, sorry, sorry. We copy the circle. After the new copy. After the new copy, we pull and we change the color to match the lines that are outside the cycle. Okay, after that, we pull the end now about 10%. We give the end a cycle or be like a semicircle. Before that, we will. It used to 90 in thickness or maybe 95, uh, 9, 95. Yeah. After that, we will blunt the end. You just follow me. Okay, if we have done it again on the other side. Yeah, wait a minute. Okay, we have the other side. One blonde and maybe like this yeah mm, 
oke okay. oh yes uh, maybe there is a bit of an error maybe there is a bit of an error let's try again we repeat again uh, sorry 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 there is a little mistake where control Z control Z yes uh, maybe we should reduce the cycle first yeah well if uh, we have copy and adjust the cycle which is up to be longer or smaller or maybe you guys hold one to follow me please yes after that we have copy again we pull nice okay we reduce it again we reduce it yes maybe we reduce it we copy it again to fit the end zip yeah okay we copy again and adjust Oh yeah, then after that for the end we are not manual. In fact, we can ask a radius. I'm sorry, I forgot. That is, we give 10. Well, this is a maximum radius size. We select everything and give it a radius of 10. Okay, after it is finished, we will add uh, the check icon or the plus icon. Okay we copy and add some yeah then we copy and drag a little longer than the previous line then we flip don't forget yeah maybe not too long and we fit the end or corner yeah then we zoom out and we select both and then save it the middle okay. and corners and we zoom out and we select both and then save in the middle nice if we do we will make a little decoration on the background we use rectangles and we add a rectangle for the size it's up to you and you can also adjust it like I made then we copy and reduce the size okay after that we copy again don't forget after copying we will extend the size of the rectangle again yeah Okay, uh, like this, you can follow me. Wait a minute. Okay, copy it again, reduce it again. Yeah, okay. We copy, we copy again, then extend it again. Yes, do like this. Yes, do like that as you wish. You can also follow us I made. Yes, maybe enough up here. Okay. We will select all of them. If we have fight it, adjust it the direction in the direction of the illustration. Yes, we are already in the middle. We will turn back. Okay, it's already in the middle. We will turn back and oh yes, before we turn back, don't forget uh, us uh, curve at the corners of the rectangle. Rectangle, yeah, like a semicircle, like that. Okay, wait a minute. You can follow me. I teach you. Okay. 
Okay, we blend the end for the first rectangle. We can bring out a frame of this semicircle. And for the second rectangle, we can insert the semicircle. And on the other hand, we also enter as yes, do it 3 depth C for every defined rectangle. We just need to adjust some go out and some enter the semicircle. Okay, soon the background will be finished. Just take it off and insert a few more semicircle. Okay, we'll just have to wait. Maybe we'll adjust it a bit. Okay, there just one more. Yes, in a moment. Uh, okay, then. Uh, then we'll pull it down. If so, we select all of them and we change the color according to the previous design or the design beside the background by pressing the control button and also the right square brackets or maybe you uh, or maybe you can right click save behind layer yes if we have copied the x in the upper right corner then we reduce the stroke and reduce its size change the color yes this is to add a little uh, from the background uh, yes after that we add a small after that we will add a small circle in to the left yes after that uh, we change the color change the color and add an outline for the stroke we adjust it with the illustration okay if we have copied the circle to the bottom and we delete the outline the outline yes like this continue when the illustration is complete we will add text and enter the word success if you have added our text and oh yes uh, if you have added the text we adjust it the to the illustration and we add the text back at the bottom of the success we add again text at the bottom of the success yeah you can do as i made or you can also adjust it according to you to your wish yes here i am following my previous design after that we reduce the size yeah wait. after that we reduce the size estimate estimate around 13 maybe or 12 this is still lacking we zoom out again so if the size is right, uh, well, fit it in the middle and we'll reduce the opacity for 50%. Yeah, 50%. Or maybe you can just change the color to gray. No, if the color has been changed, we will add a button. But here for the button, it is lacking. There is no free space. So I move the object that was on top of it to move it even higher a little more up. Yes, maybe up. Maybe we will add five and add text. Okay. Nice. Little then add thickness. Maybe a little bit adjust if it if we will the add the button at the bottom at the bottom. But we give the line first. We put it in the middle. Then we add thickness. Yes. Uh, and for the corner, we change to be more blonde and we adjust the color to the text above. Well, if it is appro appropriate, we add below it for buttons. 
yes if we have given a radius uh, nice uh, we add some radius yeah color don't forget color they will upload you if we add below it for button yes if we have given a radius add a radius of about 10 or maybe 5 yes 10 looks to round maybe we will add 5 and add text okay this is the last tag of our design we fit the text in the middle of the box and we change the color to white we also inc increase our font size slightly and we fit again in the middle of the button yep okay that the last tag of our design finish okay yeah okay maybe that's enough video tutorial from me if you have any suggestion please put them in the comment column and don't forget to like share and subscribe see you soon